guys have been asking for it, so I'm gonna give you guys a setup tour. I know I've been saying I'm gonna do this forever. My setup is not that glamorous. Uh, if you look at guys like Matt Malone, Dave Cam, James Baldwin, their stuff is so nice, dude. Their setup is so nice. This is, uh, I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea. This is not that. So I'm gonna do the best I can to cover everything. What I use to record, the computer setup, the rig, the sim rig itself, all of my audio stuff and my camera stuff as well, just in case anybody wants to start making content on that side of things. And right behind me, you will see the setup. We've got it in the corner of this garage that we're in. Super lucky to have this garage. It is a bit hot though, I will say. Although I do have a fan now for the first time in my life, I have a fan in here and wow, does it feel amazing. Let's get straight into it, starting with the computer. We're going to start with the computer. We have it right down there. I'll cover the specs in just a minute. First, I'm going to cover the accessories that I have on it, starting with the keyboards. You might notice that there's two of them here. This one doesn't work. It's currently serving as just a USB extender. So we have it plugged into the front of the PC, and then it has a port in the back that I have the audio interface plugged into. That's a Scarlett 2i2, which I use for all of my audio stuff. The keyboard that I mainly use, this is the Logitech MX Keys Mini. So so it doesn't have the number pad. Fantastic, fantastic keyboard here. Highly recommended, extremely high build quality. It's great for um, bringing over to the sim, you know, and I can type stuff over there, which is really nice. Also very small, so it doesn't take up much space on this desk, which I need because I have this giant piece of shit uh, keyboard right above it, which is taking up a ton of space. As far as the headset is concerned, I use this both for sim racing, for video editing and uh, streaming, I, I, basically everything. It is the Sony H7 headset, super comfortable headset super lightweight i love the like the material that they've used for the headband is really really nice it's like this kind of soft i don't know rubber i guess um the mic is trash not gonna lie mic is trash the sound quality is really good the mic is trash which kind of negates the point of having a headset i mean it's supposed to be a mic here paired with headphones but whatever here is a water bottle that i've been drinking I haven't drank much of it, but man, it's delicious and it's hot in here, so I need that. The monitor we are using is an LG 4K, don't know, but it serves as a great workspace for video editing. 4K helps so much compared to 1080p with the amount of real estate that you have on your screen. Highly recommend 4K if you're looking to do content creation. The speakers, not sure. I will put a picture on screen of what exactly they are. They work flawlessly though. I mean, I've never had a problem with them. Second monitor is the BenQ, I don't know the model number, and I have it mounted to the wall in the garage back there so I can swing it over here and then swing it above the sim rig to serve as like a way that I can view chat when I'm streaming. The mic that we are using for voiceovers is an AT2020 from Audio-Technica. It's a good budget mic. It gets the job done flawlessly. You do have to do slightly more in the post-processing, but it's still, it, it's fantastic for the price. This arm that we're using, I don't know, it's off of Amazon. The mouse, it's a mouse. It's the G203 Prodigy, I think, Logitech. And yeah, it does mouse things. It served me well. It's not my only mouse, but I do use it for when I'm at the desk. We've got this little thing over here. It's the Torbox Neo, and it's basically a controller for like editing software. All of the Adobe software works really well with it. However, I don't really use it all that much anymore as I have this new keyboard. When I was using that keyboard and it, some buttons didn't work, so I would use that to replace some of the buttons, and I would use that on occasion just by itself. Sure, um, recording headset. This is a mixing headset, so it's super lightweight. The sound is very, very flat, so it helps you um, kind of analyze what needs to go where level-wise when mixing audio. Don't really use that so much for YouTube. For YouTube, it's pretty much all done in there. Little stand for the camera here. It's a Joey, a jo Joby. No, it's a tripod, it does tripod things. We've got a USB light here that I use for streaming and I have it turned on right now just for extra lighting. The desk itself that we are sitting on, it's from Amazon, I'm not sure of the company, but it's one of those standing desks. I have it just left at the spot where it's at and that's where it's gonna stay. I like the level of it. Software wise, we are running Adobe Premiere Pro. Basically all of my stuff is Adobe, all of my software that I use for um, making content. We use Premiere Pro and Photoshop mainly, also Illustrator sometimes to help with Photoshop and then After Effects for fun graphics and all of that. So highly recommend all of that software. It is a bit expensive. It comes all together for $50 a month, which is a lot. You can do everything with it. So if you're willing to put in the time to learn and you wanna make content highly recommend the adobe creative cloud suite i think is what they call now on to the sim side of things and 
Not a ton going on here, honestly. We'll cover the PC first. So the specs of the PC, we have an i9, we have 34 gigs uh, or 32 gigabytes of RAM. We are using a 1080 right now from 2017. That's kind of the bottleneck of this computer. And then we have all of the cooling stuff. It's got liquid cooling in there. Um, yeah, that's basically the computer. Moving on to the SIM itself, and let's start with the seat. We have a Sparco Evo QRT here, and this seat I got really lucky with, honestly. Some guy was parting out his 350Z, he had a drift car, and I took this off of his hands for $200. I think I got a steal with that, I don't know, maybe I got ripped off. The rig is the ASR1, the Advanced Sim Racing 1. It's the smaller profile aluminum extrusion, so it's not 80 by 20, I, I, I don't know what it is, I guess it's like 20 by 20. I don't know the dimensions, but it's thinner than most rigs. It also, we have the monitor stand that they sell as well, right there on the back, holding up the 34 inch gigabyte ultra wide curved that we have. The refresh rate on this thing is abysmal. It's 60 Hertz. You need 144 Hertz for sim racing. This has absolutely shot me in the foot. Definitely, if I were to change one thing about this whole setup, it would be the monitor. The monitor is not fantastic. As far as the rig goes, no complaints on that. It's, it's more than strong enough to handle my base, which is a Moza R9. And this is the Moza R9. I mean, it's almost three years old at this point. So it's like the very early stage of the Moza R9s. And that comes with some problems. I've heard that they're a lot better now, but me and this Moza do not have, or me and this specific base do not have the best relationship. The Bluetooth receiver in it went out after about a year and that made the wheel rims that I had at the time totally useless. Instead of buying a new base, I went for a new wheel because, well, I needed something that could be wired in. So we went for the FSR, which is the only Moza wheel at the time that supported wired connection. Definitely splurged on this, but this is my favorite piece of gear. I absolutely love this wheel. Everything about this wheel is just pure perfection. The weight of it, the grip on it, the button, not only the placement of the buttons, but where they feel, the rotary knobs, or encoders, whatever, they're fantastic. Absolutely love this wheel, works flawlessly for the most part. We have it wired in to the Moza Universal Hub, which is taped to the frag. <laughs> It's great, I mean, it, it serves its purpose. I think this is really expensive for what it is, but I needed it and supply demand, you know, it happens, it happens like that. We have that plugged into a USB extension. And really quickly before I forget, um, cause I did forget, actually I'm, I'm in the middle of editing this right now. I look like a fucking goofball. Um, I forgot to talk about my pedals. So I wanna, I wanna cover that real quick, what pedals I have. We are rocking some Moza, Moza SRPs down here and man, I do not have enough good things to say about these pedals. We only have the throttle and the brakes. We have no clutch. Uh, they're a lot more expensive now than they used to be because they introduced the SRP Lite. If you're gonna get load cell pedals, which I recommend that you do get load cell pedals, um, highly recommend the SRPs, they are fantastic. We have that plugged into a USB extender here. We also use the Logitech MX Anywhere mouse three, I think this is, for the SIM, it's a wireless mouse. We usually leave it over there uh, with, we'll, we'll take the keyboard that we have and we'll pair them up over at the SIM. They work really well. The last thing to show would be the camera itself, which is a bit hard to show because I'm filming with it, but it is a Sony a7C. We currently have a Z-E-I-S-S -S Zeiss, I'm not sure. Zeiss. It's a 16 to 35 millimeter lens. Absolutely love it. That's a great range. It covers most of everything you're going to need, especially if you're vlogging or doing uh, YouTube, any type of content creation. It's really good for the mics that we are using for this video. I don't use them super often. It's the Rode Wireless Go 2 and they hook directly onto the camera. We have a receiver and then we have a couple of transmitters. They work, their mics, uh, they, 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 they get the job done. I think with that, we have covered everything. If there is anything I haven't covered or you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer as soon as I can. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed seeing this stuff. If you guys have any more video ideas or stuff you wanna see, like real life stuff or stuff based around me and my journey, uh, please leave that in the comments as well. And you know, maybe I'll get around to that. And until then, peace out motherfuckers. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>